Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a project share of how I made these fun little wallets. Um, the video that I had um, before got totally screwed up because my phone somehow still linked up to my husband's and so some stuff got erased in one of those videos, um, actually multiple videos. I had a video um, going over this and the wallets and it, uh, they went bye bye. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know that I'm on Erica's team and these are just projects of hers that I have been working on. Um, it is a fabric wallet. Uh, it uses cardstock and fabric. So we're going to jump right in and just kind of go over how I created these two, which I absolutely love. I want to make them clutches. I don't want to add handles, um, but I want to use something with fabric. So I'm kind of trying to still figure that out. But this is fabric that I've had in my stash forever. And so what you'll need is obviously the dies, but you'll need this heat and bond light um, glue stuff that is double-sided and it heats up and will bind to your fabric. As you can see, I already have a piece cut out here. And um, what you do is you cut your piece out and it is like this shiny, like plastic looking, um, but it's, once it gets heated, it glues down to what you're going to glue onto. So what I do is I cut a strip like this and then I take the die, which is the one that has the stitching on it, and I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine. So I'll end up with the piece. Then I take the piece and I lay it down on a cardstock piece and I iron it. So I'll peel it off and I'll layer it and you know, you peel this off, the white sheet off. So let's just peel it off. And then you're gonna take your piece there. You could do it this way too if you want, but I, and cut, but because I want it to lay nicely, I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine first with this piece, okay? Once you have that piece, then you're gonna take your cardstock and you're gonna lay it down together. Then you take your iron and you just iron it, okay? And there you have it. And then you can run your stitch, run it through your machine to stitch, which my machine was working great and the stitches are nice. It didn't get caught up, so you can do it that way. And also the same, you would do the same with the longer piece here. And then you just glue it down regularly um, as you would. So that's, that's it, basically. And this one, I had all the intentions to, um, I wanted to put flowers since it's got like this fun flower that matches the fabric. And so I made a bunch of them in the colors of the fabric, or at least I try to match them to the colors of the fabric. Um, and then I have this box from Hobby Lobby that just fits perfectly in there like that, which I think is so cute. How adorbs. I added some eyelets on this one. I just love the way these turned out. This one, I added um, these shabby flowers that I've had in my stash. Um, you can find them like on eBay, Etsy. And then I had these cabochons. Um, they're flat backs that are glittered that I just love. Um, I picked them up a couple years ago from... Um, Paper Cherries was Haley's um, little shop and I used to order from her and um, she closed up shop and hasn't crafted, but I miss her craftiness. Um, I think she's like doing, she was doing a um, cool design class the last I saw. So then I have this one I shared on Instagram. Um, and this one is just a fun little clutch. This one is because I saw, um, or I made it in this style because I saw V from um, Buzzing with V. And she created the um, wallet piece and added it to the back of the little clutch. And I just, oh my gosh, I love the way it looked. And so I did one too. And I found this paper at Hobby Lobby that had these roses. And it's actually got turquoise and green and pinks in there. And I just love it. But I found these pom-poms. They were picks, like toothpicks. I just took them off and created my own little thing with them. I used some of the Happy Crafter Shop uh, beads that I created, a little dangle. And just, oh my gosh, I just love the way this one came out. I added some little trims. I don't think I'm going to add any handles to this just because I want it to be like a clutch. So cute. I don't know what I'm going to put inside. I was thinking of doing more flower um, of these because I like the way 
those would look in there and using the little clear plastic bag is what I think I'm going to do. I just love the way this turned out. And then I think I'm going to add some bottle caps in here like I did for the other ones. And it's just super cute to send some happy mail in. And then we have this guy here, which I didn't get to share because um, I did have a video on how I made it. And then I started thinking that that's going to be my third video on the file folder journals and how many I've made. I made a lot of them. I think I've made six of them. I did three and then one for Sue and then this one I have. Yeah, and I have another one that I'm working on. So that's six. And then I have another one cut up that I haven't put together. Um, there's just so many different ways that you can put this together. I decided to add a... Um, little piece here that's one inch and then I did a, another um, border piece here that's half an inch so it ended up being this chunky monster and it opens up this way and it has this cool little um, pocket and I made like a little album <coughs> journal spot and then this is paper that is like was pieces left over and I just decided to glue them on the, the um, on a thin piece of cardstock and then did stitching and then I added it to the journal itself. The journal itself is created out of manila files that I had, um, folders. I have like a divider I found at the Goodwill and so I cut all the bases out of the manila um, folder which I it gave it a real good sturdiness vibe to the book itself i have this one listed on my etsy shop if anyone's interested and then i have this tag and it actually has the vintage um seam binding packaging and then just the fun um uh tag made out of um the sewing pattern paper i like to use it for my crafts just randomly here and there and then i added this fun little round actually i had on this side this round um little paper clip and then I added some cut aparts that are like sewing themed and just this cute little pocket. And then here's another pocket over here. I did do the little um, space theme die sets there to create the pockets. I know there's a name for them and they're escaping my mind right now. I created this tag using some of the um, images. I just love the way it looks and little charm. I added some of the Tim Holtz washi tape that's like fabric. I thought that was so cute. And then they just slide right in, or they kind of slide right in. You just have to help it a little bit. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's kind of thick. And then these are vintage little um, tag, clothing tags that I had from buying stuff here and there. And then I just added some stuff on there. Just fun, fun um, pieces. I created pockets here. This one, the flap comes down messing up the hand there this one is a cute little pocket and it has like for pins I found that online I can't remember what the shop name is I'll look and see and add it in my description box because I found tons of cute little things look at this I have one that's going to be a seed packet um, journal like a flower journal that I've got cut out I need to take the time to um, <gasps> put it together I've just got like so many ideas and not enough time. Look at that. I love this design. It's so cute. And then this pocket and this fabric. I use lace. Just love, love, love this, this one. And then it opens up to all these pockets. I just love the way this looks. I added a memory dex card in there. It's like a vintage one. Um, I took some of the scraps and stitched them and added stickers and little pins and distressed it and this is a Tim Holtz tag. Just fun stuff, you guys. Look at this. This is awesome right here. This is a vintage um, uh, packaging that I had in my stash. I have no idea where I picked this up, but um, it was in my stash. And I added this vintage trim that I think is just awesome. And it fits so perfectly in this pocket. And I just, oh, I love the way these pockets turned out. And then you have this here. And then this one, I added a smaller one here like that. Super cute. And then this one, I created a little tuck pocket there with these cute little tags and printables. So you can journal in the back. Did some stamping. Distressing. And then I have this one. This is a pattern, um, like, 
paper that I found when I was in Spain and I picked it up on clearance. I came home with so much scrapbook paper because I found a scrapbook store out there. I had a little vintage button in this rose um, charm that I've had in my stash. I just love the way this turned out. It's so cute. And then the back side has a vintage um, zipper packaging. I have a couple of these left and I thought it'd be perfect to add the colors just with the little measuring tape back there and then I did this to kind of keep it it's a library pocket just oh this paper collection is so cute you guys it was from um authentic I can't remember what it was called like something stitches I have to look for it it's kind of an older collection I want to say I found it at Tuesday morning but they're all closing now which really stinks the one near me is just opened and now it's closing it's got a couple of years under its belt but sad sad so these are my projects thank you guys for watching and i'll link a lot of stuff in the description so you guys can go check it out and see if you can find it um come back for some more goodies because i'm working on some more projects um as well as head over to scrap diva designs for some of these dies that are super um fun to play with scrap diva designs and you can find lots and lots of awesome ideas um, from some awesome crafty ladies so thank you guys and come back soon. Bye.